This is a Rutke Mods video. Hello, I'm Greg Rutke of Rutke Mods and welcome to episode 21 of my Mac Pro series. This episode is going to be as brief as possible. I just want to explain to you why it's a really stupid idea to install 32-bit Windows on a Mac Pro. I have set up my Mac Pro for a upcoming tutorial where I am going to be showing people who still have 32-bit CPU Intel Macs how to install a newer copy of Windows and make it work properly. I want to quickly explain that 32-bit Windows on any Mac Pro is a bad idea. Apple said that the 1,1 1 and 2,1 only support Windows 7 32-bit, which if you followed those terms, you would find that you could only use barely any of your Mac hardware. With 32-bit Windows, you are limited to 4 gigabytes worth of RAM and a max of 5 cores from what I can tell. When I first set up the Mac, I could see 5 of my 8 cores. Now it's only showing 4. And I don't know why. I figure it's now just sticking to one processor. Now when I say that this only supports up to 4 gigabytes worth of RAM, this is because of a limit on the 32-bit programming. And in fact, you're not actually using 4 gigabytes of RAM, you would be using 3.5. Well, this is a problem if you're using a Mac Pro in general because most Mac Pros out there have more than 4 gigabytes worth of RAM. In fact, mine has 16. And because of the way that the ECC memory is set up, it can only use part of the RAM to begin with. So right now I'm limited to a 2 gigabyte worth of, of RAM. It says right here, hardware reserved 14 gigabytes, and that there's only 1.3 gigs free, and it even says 2 gigabytes right there. And as you can see, it's only seeing 4 of the 8 cores. Now, with Apple, the very first Mac that I believe supported 64-bit Windows was the 2008 Mac Pro 3.1. Other than that, I think the first Macs that supported 64-bit after that were in late 2009. By that time period, Apple had been doing boot camp on Macs for over three years at that point. And yet, they started supporting 64-bit on Macs after that. And they didn't upgrade the compatibility specs for older Macs that were only 32-bit, even though they could run 64-bit, not counting the core solo and core duos, of course, because they're just 32-bit in general. Though 32-bit Windows does make sense for Macs like my early 2009 MacBook before it was upgraded, it only had 2 gigabytes worth of RAM, which is plenty enough for a 32-bit operating system. But once I upgraded it to 6 gigabytes worth of RAM, well, 32-bit wasn't sufficient enough for me. And in fact, the way the world's going now, 32-bit's going out. Most companies are dropping all 32-bit support, and Microsoft will probably be the last company to drop 32-bit operating system support. So currently, if you have a 32-bit PC, you can run Windows 10 as long as your CPU meets the requirements. But anyway, to get back to the point of the video, do not install 32-bit Windows on your Mac Pro. It's just pointless, and I don't understand why Apple says the Macs that the first two Mac Pros could use was 32-bit Windows. Anyway, well, that is the end of the video. Thank you for watching, and this has been a Rutke Mods video.